stampers this is dawn and today we're going to make the barn door card and it moves like this the cute little barn door on the front this is a new bundle that's in the occasions catalog right now and there's actually a lot of cutting but the card is actually fairly simple just a lot of tedious work especially with the little brackets and the little door handle but we're going to go ahead and make this card so let's go ahead and get started okay so let me give you the measurements of the pieces this is the whisper white for the base this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm using a piece of soft sky, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of whisper white, which is cut at two and a half by two and three fourths. So first we're gonna go right to the big shot. So let's grab that. Okay, so this is the barn door stamp set, which we're gonna use for the door, and then also the hello right here. And then also the framelits, which is the sliding door framelits. And these are also available in a bundle. When you purchase them together, you can save 10%. And I will explain these post-it note flags here in a second. So let's grab our silver foil sheet. We're gonna cut out all the hardware for the door so the hardware is the handle right here and then the brackets for the sliding part and then also the door hanger and then also the track for the door okay so let me explain these little post-it flags they work really good because you can see that these framelits are so so little Especially this one right here is even smaller than the brackets. This is the door handle. So I just keep them right on here and plus it makes it easy so I don't lose them. So that's what those are and they come in all kinds of sizes. So I'm using this one right here currently and this is just like a sticky part and then also these ones right here they come in all kinds of sizes. They're mainly used for books or magazines or like our annual catalog where you could flag a page but we're using them with the framelits. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut all these pieces out. Let me show you something else that's nice when you use these post-it flags. Let me move these two pieces here. And let's bring in a piece of whisper white so you can see this. So I'm just going to take my paper piercing tool and there's little punch out holes for each of these little tiny pieces. So you can just punch right through that framelit and it punches out like that. And plus it's easy to hold onto since you're using the post-it flags. So I'm just going to poke through that. And let's see it comes right out just like that. And plus you're not losing them. And then you just keep them right on your post-it flags and you put them right back where you have them with the whole collection. Okay, so here are all the pieces that we just cut out with the silver foil sheet. Now we're going to cut out the track part of the card. So we're going to take our soft sky piece. And remember this is the four by five and a quarter piece. Okay, so we're going to take our track and we're going to put it in the center first. And then we're going to scoot it down just a little bit. The reason we want to have a little space up at the top is because we're going to put the track that we just cut out with the silver foil sheet up here. So you want to have at least enough space for that. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so here's our track. And I also found that if you cut it first and then you emboss it, it's much better. So now we're going to trade out our magnetic platform for the Big Shot platform. Okay. We're going to take our soft sky piece that we just cut and we're going to use the simple stripes embossing folder. And there's a trick that I found with making so many of these. I'm going to put the, the stripe on the embossing folder that goes right above the top of the top of the card because I don't want that groove to interfere with me adhering the track that I'm going to glue on with the silver foil sheet. Okay, then we're just going to go ahead and send that through. All right, now we're going to do some stamping and then we'll come back to the big okay, shot. Okay, so we're going to bring in a piece of crumb cake and we're going to stamp the barn door. And we're going to use the early espresso for that. This is the other piece that we need to cut out. Okay, so there's 
the barn door. All right, so let's grab the big shot again. Okay, so this is the section we're gonna use for cutting out the barn door. Just lines up perfectly. So let's go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so I think that's all the die cutting. So let's go ahead and move the big shot. Okay, so there's one more thing that I wanted to do to my barn door. I'm going to sponge it with the early espresso. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So first we're gonna build our tracks to our car. Okay, so I used the number six washers and I got these at Home Depot and this was a package of 100 of them because this was actually one of my club projects that my club girls got to make, so I needed a lot of them. So, but you can buy them in a set of 30 or less and then you can also buy them in the 100 pack. So just check your local hardware store. Okay, so then I put my washers in a little container that's easily accessible, which is a Stampin' Up! little container. And then you're also gonna be using mini dimensionals and then also another important component is your adhesive foam strips. So you get two sheets per package and they look like this. And I've already been working on one, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So we're going to use a couple other important tools. You're going to need a pencil, a pair of tweezers, and then also your paper piercing tool. Now let me share another tip with you. So the multi-purpose liquid glue works the best. But like I said, these pieces right here are really, really tiny. The handles and the, the door runners right here. So what I did is I took the multi-purpose liquid glue and I put it into an empty fine tip glue pin bottle. So I just cleaned it out and I put the multi-purpose liquid glue into the fine tip glue pin because the tip on this glue pin is really small. Tiny, tiny. Can you see that? Compared to the multi-purpose liquid glue tip so it just makes it a little bit easier for me to handle it but you can still do it with this I'm not saying that you can't but I'm just sharing with what what I did with the card okay so those were the some of the tools that I found that were really handy when making this card all right so first we're going to build our washer and you're going to put a washer down and I'm going to put it right over top of that slit and then I'm using my paper piercing tool to grab the dimensional, the little mini dimensional. Put that over top of the washer. Peel the backing off. And then grab another washer and put that onto the little mini dimensional, just like that. So you're making a sandwich of a washer, mini dimensional, and then another washer. And you're going to do that two on the top and two on the bottom. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have my washers and my Stampin' Dimensionals, my mini Stampin' Dimensionals on my card, two on the top, two on the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and we're going to add our adhesive strip. And this is really important because you don't want your card to be flat around your sliding mechanism of the barn door card. So what you're gonna use is your adhesive strips and you want it close to your track but not really close because you still want room for those washers to move so I'm just going to put it right up against the edge of the bottom okay and then you're going to take another piece and put it right above it So you want to be close enough to the washer to make it pop up, but you don't want it too close so they don't move. So you're going to go ahead and do the top as well, and I've already got one done. Okay, so here's the one that I've already got done. So next we're going to go ahead and peel off the backings of the strips. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and put this onto the card. Just like that. Okay, so then you can see how they move freely to the washers. So that's what you want. All right, so let's go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Okay, next we're gonna take our mini glue dots. We're gonna attach our door now. So we're gonna put a mini glue dot on each of the washers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All 
Okay, so I put both of the washers in each of the corners, and you're just going to line up the door with the washer and adhere that down. Then you're going to bring the door to the other side and adhere those down to the washers over there. Right about there. Looks good. See how your door is sliding now? Love it. Okay, so let's add our hinges and our handle, and this is where the tweezers come in handy. Let me get my multi-purpose liquid glue. Like I said, this isn't the fine tip glue. I have tried that fine tip glue and it's really too runny for me to use this with these little pieces. So the multi-purpose liquid glue works the best, but I just put it in this bottle. Okay, so the tweezers work because these are so small and you're only gluing a little tiny piece. I'm actually gluing the bottom section of the hinge to the door and the top part is not going to be glued at all it's actually going to be floating i'm just popping out these little pieces okay so but before we add this we got to add the bar so let me go ahead and do that i'm going to sit right above the door just like that then you'll take your hinge part. Now the circle part is like the roller part for the door. So you're just gonna move the door all the way over to the edge. And then I'm going to glue the bottom section of that wheel. And then this part is free. So it's not actually attached. It's like an illusion. It looks like it's actually sliding on that bar, but it's not. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so let's do the other one. these little tiny pieces out okay I'm only gonna add a little tiny bit of glue see this is such a little tiny space this glue pin tip is tiny okay then we're just gonna go over here and add the other wheel onto that isn't that awesome next we're gonna grab the handle part of the door this is even smaller yet. Okay, that's cute. All right, now we're gonna build our door sign. So let me show you what I did for that. So let's grab our stamp set. So we're gonna stamp this hello right here, and we're gonna use the Versamark ink pad. And we're gonna stamp that on Whisper White. You don't need to use your embossing buddy for this because it's gonna be hand cut out. And we're gonna use our silver embossing powder. Then we're going to grab our heat tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and heat set this. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and just cut out the frame, but we're going to go a little bit smaller because we have the door hanger right here. So this is actually that with just a little white edge. So I want the edge to be on the silver part. So I'm just gonna cut this piece a little bit smaller, closer to the hello part of the sign. Okay, then we're gonna take a dimensional and pop that up. I'm going to use my paper piercing tool to hold that as well so I can get this centered onto this sign here. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to put this onto the door. So I'm going to add another dimensional. And this is going to sit right here on the door. Okay, so we're going to add a little silver bow and I'm going to add a little bit of the liquid glue to that. 
this is the 1 8 silver ribbon. I went ahead already and tied a bow. So we'll let that sit there while we do some more stamping. Okay, so now this piece is the piece that's going to slide underneath the door for your message. So this is the two and a half by two and three quarter. So what you're going to do is you're just going to put it into your card or underneath your door part. Position it where you want it. And then you're going to slide the door all the way over one way and make a little pencil line. And then slide the door the other way and make another pencil line. This is going to let you know where to stamp your greeting so you don't go over when the door is open. You can see the whole message. Greeting. Let me show you the stamps we're using for that. So on one side, I'm going to be using the Petal Palette. This is that stamp set. It's in the Occasions catalog. This is also available in a bundle with a set of thinlets. And we're going to be using Life is So Much Better with You in it on one side. And then also the Picture Perfect Birthday. We're going to stamp Happy Birthday on the other side. So I'm going to be using the Memento Ink for the greeting. And we're going to go ahead and stamp the Life is Better Because You're In It. Remember, I made my pencil line, so I know I have a guide right there to where to stamp the greeting. So I'm going to stamp it right there. Then we're going to stamp the Happy Birthday greeting on the other side. Right there. Okay, then we just go ahead and remove the pencil lines with our eraser. Okay, so I'm going to go take our snail. I'm going to put adhesive on the back. Now you want to make sure that you adhere all the sides down really nicely so it doesn't get caught up on the door when it's sliding. So you're going to slide your door to the center part of your card and you're going to slide this section underneath. Okay, so right about there I think looks good. You can always just kind of lay it there and do a test run to make sure the door reveals the message that you want nicely. Yeah, that looks really good. So then you can press that down. I'm going to use the tweezers to move the door just to keep my fingers out of the way. But look, life is so much better with you in it. And then happy birthday. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then you also have the inside of the card to stamp another greeting or even sign the card. I love this card, the barn door bundle. So then here's the other one. Same exact same card. Okay, so I have all the items listed below for easy online shopping. And then also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. See you later. Bye.